All right, what's up, guys? Poison here, and I'm back with his little sister, and we're playing. We're doing family bonding again. And what are we're we playing? playing? Burrito Bison Revenge. Now I don't know what this game is. This is a game she's been playing the past few days, so you go on with whatever you had to do. I know nothing of this game, so she's basically going to explain what's the point of this game and what do we do. We fight gummies and try to get our wallet back to pay for our food. Are we paying like? Is the food burritos, or... I guess. Have I, you beaten this game, or no? I had, but this is back then. I can't remember. You played it two days ago. I have not beat the game yet. Oh. Uh, so, basically, you just use your mouse to play, right? Yeah. Okay. Or the space bar. But you just prefer the mouse? Yeah. Alright, well, um... Yeah, it's been a while since we've done a family bonding. I know we did one earlier this... Or early, late last month... When we took a look at the Nintendo Switch, but actually the official last time we played uh, Family Bonding, like an actual game, was back on January 12th, 2016, and it was Super Mario Maker. So, it's been almost a full year since we last did yeah. a Family Bonding, like an actual game. And now, I'm not playing, um, this is like the third time we've done a video like this, um, the last, like, not every Family Bonding do we need to play a game, like, that's not how you say it. Not every family bonding do we both play. I remember one time she played a game called Sushi Cat. Yep. If you remember that. We had two episodes on that. And that was just her playing. Then I played Payday 2 once where she just talked. And then today we're back where she plays and I just talk. So not every family bonding has both of us playing together. Um, we do have plans to do more family bonding where we do play together. Um, wait till we get our Elgato HD 60S. Which actually, this video is coming out on Saturday. By the time this video comes out, we'll already have our HD 60s, so we could record uh, like Wii U and stuff, and we could record everything in like 60 frames, so we could start playing more games. Um, I mean, of course, we could play uh, games right now, like we could use my Aver Media to record. But the way I feel about YouTube is, I want people to see the game the way we see it. So if we play a game at 1080p at 60 frames, I want people to play it at, or I want people to be able to see it at the same resolution. I don't want people being stuck at like 720 at 60 or 1080 at 30. So that's kind of what's held us, or that's kind of what held me back from doing a lot of content too. Is because I want people to see the videos the same way I do it. Um, one thing before you have to say anything or anything you want to say. Um, so if you guys saw any of my Duke Nukem videos I posted, it was either Thursday or Friday. I talk about how um, I was going to test out Payday 2 to see how it works with Shadow Play, and we're not using Shadow Play right now, we're actually using Action Game Recorder, because um, I think Action has a little more uh, settings than, or Action has like a few more features and settings than Shadow Play, I haven't played around with it yet, but um, yeah, Payday 2 and Borderlands 2 do not like Shadow Play, it, it does not record the best, unfortunately, so you already got reached the end of the level? Yeah, but I need to break through that door. Oh, so you weren't, like, you didn't have enough money, or you weren't strong enough, or what? It was not strong enough. I need to get more speed. Hmm. So whenever I see a cruiser, I always try to use my rockets. Ooh, that was kind right of a bad here. launch, wasn't it? Yeah. See the cruisers. Uh, okay. And with the cruisers, I go up and get a... I forgot Huge what they were leap. called. It was an impact, though. Oh. Uh -oh. Sugar impact, I think. So and, is this... Alright, oh. you go first. And sorry to the person who very enjoyed my Undertale gameplay. I would continue on to it, but wasn't able to since our computer was... Dead twice? Yes. And the game resetted, so you're going to get a preview of David's gameplay. Yeah, uh, I'm going to continue on with my Undertale Let's Play before she does hers. Or Quick Play is what I'd like to call it. She calls it a full Let's Play. Um... But yeah, I'll be doing my quick play before she goes back in the Undertale. Um, so this game, I don't know. It's, there's a lot of games I played in my childhood, like when I was your age, that remind me of it. I just can't think of their names right now. Like, I really can't think of any games to compare this to right now. I, I guess the easiest would be like Jetpack Joyride or something, like yeah. a side-scroller. Like, there's not many side-scrollers like this kind. And I really like the backstory to it, too. What's the backstory? So, basically, he went out shopping, and then he came to this aisle where he found a open 
gummy bear bag, sucked into it, and then now he's into this land. Oh. And then he got out in the first game, which I didn't never bother to play. So you just jumped into revenge. Yes. Yeah, I didn't bother going backtracking. So he forgot his wallet there, and now he's back after it. What? So how come when you touched the police one, you kind of stopped? What happened? They're the toughest. I don't know why, but they're just the stronger ones. So they automatically stop you? Yeah, but there's also police control. Oh. And before you get to Brutus and the cy cyborg jawbreaker, it was like a referee that was a cookie, and I really liked him for some reason. Uh oh. And I found Brutus pretty annoying. So real quick, since we have, we're gonna name off the systems we have real quick, not to be like, not to act like privileged or whatever, or saying that we're rich because we're really not. Um, we have a wide variety of consoles. We have an original Xbox, an Xbox 360, and later this month we're going to get an Xbox One. We also have a PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 1. We have a Wii slash GameCube and a Wii U and a computer. We also have, like, DS. Um, are there any games you'd like to play on the channel as maybe a full quick play or, like, um, you know, maybe a once in a while Saturday video or family bonding? I wouldn't really recall of any. I was... Kind of been thinking on Yokai Watch too, Bony Spirits, since I have not played that one. But I don't really know. Well, going along the same lines, I want to play um Course Party on 3DS. Um, the thing is, I'm not sure how we would accurately uh, record the gameplay. Um, I had an idea of setting up a tripod and putting my phone on it, and then you know recording off my phone, just recording the screen in the DS. That was my idea. Maybe that would work. I'm not really sure. Um, but I'm pretty sure once we find a way to record 3DS, maybe you could do your Yokai Watch one. Just, you know, have no audio. Yeah. Because, unfortunately, like, the problems with Nintendo is that they're just really strict on YouTube. They don't like... I'm not sure if like is the right word, but they don't really enjoy allow people... They, no, they allow you to, but they don't really enjoy people uploading their content. Or they definitely don't allow you to monetize them unless you join their plan. Unless you join their, like, YouTube plan and then you get, like, 20% or whatever and they take a huge cut out of what YouTube already takes, so... Yeah. I know, definitely, when we get, um... When the Elgato comes in, I know we're gonna start live-streaming and, uh... I have plans to play, uh, Smash Bros. Yeah. And then we're gonna do our, uh... Do you remember our plan for Splatoon? Uh, no, I can't remember. Splatter days? Or we just play Splatoon on Saturdays? You never told me that. I told you that a long time ago. I have horrible memory then. You kind of do, actually. Can't believe you forgot Splatter days. <laughs> it works so perfectly and you just forgot it, Karina. The only thing I remember is Squid and Squidaddle. <laughs> and Squidio games. Yeah, but Squidio games is kind of new. And sorry for the noise, I'm moving something. I know when we get the Elgato, I want to live stream and play, um, Os. You know, just shut off all sounds. So, what made you want to play this game? Like, where'd you learn of it from? I was called Quake. Oh. Uh -oh. Back when I really, like, watched her literally every single day. Uh oh. What made you stop watching her? I don't know, I just stopped watching her for some reason. Oh, it's kind of sad. Do you need a slide on or no? No. Okay. Yeah, sorry, we had a light on, because we thought we were going to have webcam, but then I noticed our camera, um, it, like, it had pixels tearing, if that makes sense. Like, um, like, the screen, like, the recording of the webcam, it would, like, cut in and out in certain, like, pixels. Like, vertic- no, horizontally, it would have a random tear, like, every once in a while, like a glitch. So, yeah, that's another thing I need to buy, um... I plan on keeping this blue eyeball and using it as a microphone because it works pretty good. Hopefully you guys like the way it sounds. Um, if not, you know, I'll buy either a blue Snowball or a blue Yeti eventually. But, um, yeah, I definitely want to buy a Logitech C920, like the newest one. Uh, funny enough about the C920, a bunch of YouTubers use it. Like, mm -hmm. obviously, but I mean, like, a bunch of vaping YouTubers. Like, Grim Green uses it when he, um... 
not when he does his up close, but when, he, like, when he starts his videos, he uses a C920, um, I think vaping with Twisted 420, and I think Ruby Roo also uses it. I think Suck My Mod uses, um, just a normal, like, uh, DSLR or something. But I know it's gonna be kind of difficult, because, um, as I was telling you earlier, how when I want to play, uh, Fatal Frame on Wii U, I'm gonna have, like, three different cameras. I'm gonna have the normal camera... I'm going to have a camera recording my face, and I'm going to have a camera recording the Wii U gamepad. So that's to be like a kind of difficult thing to set up. Out so, are right, you go first. Out of all the gummies, which one is your favorite? Like, the ones that you so far see? I don't know, they all look the same to me, honestly. I don't like the pink ones, the big ones. Oh, the chubby gummies? Yeah, I'm not really a fan of those. Um... I don't know, they all look the same. They just have different... Like, I think that red one with the little rocket on its back. Oh, that one? Yeah. Mine is probably the cruisers, because they make me go up and give me more speed. Uh. So I bought a bunch of them. And there's lucky gummies, which turn me into a Nyan cat. Why does that one have a little bomb? What does it do? Makes you go higher, like that. Uh. And money, too. Give me one second. Oops. I can sort of hear a little bit of the music in the background, like a little bit of the charm, and I'm like, you know, I don't think anyone has ever been copyrighted by a Flash game, but I don't want to test it, you know? I already turned off these two. Then what's that charm noise? Probably from the kid. Uh oh. It probably is the kid playing on his phone. I don't like how the cop ones instantly stop you, though. Yeah, well, not all the time. They just hurt you. Oh. And make you lose some of your speed. What's at the clock in the bottom left? Oh, that's not a clock. It's uh, my speed meter. Oh. So do you want it more in the... Yeah, you want it more in the dark, huh? Yep. I can see it brings yeah, me it's up going with up. the cruiser. Too bad the cruiser goes away pretty soon, though. It doesn't last that long. Yeah. Also, I could definitely say I've been playing with Sony Vegas Pro. Sorry, I got a text. I'm playing with Sony Vegas Pro um, 13. Um, it's a really cool editor. It works pretty good. I like how um, I like how you could like blur and pixelate stuff. How you could add a bunch of different screens into it. Um, only problem it has, in my opinion, is it takes a long time to render a video. Um, my Duke Nukem video is going to go up tomorrow for us because technically we're. We are recording on Wednesday. This is going up Saturday, but I'm currently editing Thursday's video. And, uh, yeah, it's going to take two hours and 30 minutes to render a 17-minute video. Albeit, I am recording at 19, or at 1080p at 60 frames. That's what I'm rendering it at, but I still feel that two hours and 30 minutes is a little too much, honestly. But compared to Windows Movie Maker, I do enjoy it, and it works really good. Um, and I'm pretty sure the more I play with it, the more stuff I'll learn. It sucks that when you hit another cruiser, it doesn't just reset your gauge. No. That would make it a lot better, but then I feel the game would be a little broken. I feel, I think there's gonna be, yeah, the, like, Neon gummies. Cat. I feel like there's going to be a third version coming out, or if there already is, which I don't know. Who knows, there's a, a lot of Flash games get, like, a lot of remakes, like, one Flash game I want to go back and play, and probably do a video on, is uh, Think Thing. Have you ever heard of Think Thing? No. Okay, I'll, I'll show you Think Thing later. It's... Or I probably shouldn't, because um, Think Thing was a very bloody game, although it was like... I don't know how to describe it. It was just like... There were things that killed other things. Like, I don't know how to describe it. There were like little humanoids you could customize yourself, and you essentially just got like guns... Um, my favorite had to be Think Thing Arena 2. Uh, I remember some stories about Dang. that game. Um, funny enough, when I was in 8th grade, um, we had computer class for the first half of the year. And then the second half we had Spanish, which, being a Mexican kid, I... <laughs> Spanish was no problem. <laughs> and it was actually so bad that I got to the point where they pop quizzed us in Spanish. And, um... These white girls accused me of uh, cheating, and I ended up 
cussing them out in Spanish, and the Spanish teacher got me in trouble. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the first half of the year, we would we would have um, computer class, and we needed it for a grade, sort of, but, like, the teacher didn't give us anything. She would be like, hey, I need you kids to do this assignment. So, you know, it was a quick assignment, because we were, we were fucking kids. We knew what we were doing on the computer. Like, it was stupid things, like, type this out as quickly as possible, blah, blah, blah. Like, do these stupid little assignments. It's like... We're kids. We know how to use the internet. We know these like stupid little quiz. Qu- we know these stupid little quiz questions. We know how to type fast. We know how to search stuff up. Where it's a proper site and blah blah blah. And then um, we would go onto different sites and we would play a uh, Think Thing Arena too. And um, we would basically all choose the same settings. You know, like the same map, the same hard difficulty, whatever. Everyone like in a row of computers was just like same setting on the same game. Same app, same everything. And we would see who would survive the longest. We would all start at the same time. Who would get the highest score. And the funny thing is, I played this game way before I knew about it in computer class. Like, I played it easily months before we did in computer class. So, I was, like, not a pro, but I was, like, really good at this game. And I just decimated everyone. Kind of a bit like me with Splatoon. Yeah. You can say that, yeah. But, um, one time on one of the maps, I actually did get, like... I think it's like 20 people could be like on the high score and I was like among one of the top people on the screen. And that's like a worldwide ranking system. But then again, it was on a day where um I'm not sure if this is like how other schools are. I know here in Sacramento, at least in the Highlands School District or the Twin River School District, we have certain days where we would only go to three periods instead of six. Like one day we'd go to three periods, so... First period would be two hours, second period would be two hours, you know, lunch, and then our last third period would be two hours. So we spent like two hours in each period, so I literally sat there for like two hours just playing the game and decimating everyone. And oddly enough, I listened to Karen Pami Pami while I played this game. What, do you listen to Candy? I feel like Monday Girl would probably be the better way of playing this game for me. Who knows? And it's one of my few favorite songs from her. So, do you, like, do you know what it takes to actually beat this game? Uh, like, to of... break through that wall, do you know how much it would actually be? Speed and strength. You need speed? Yeah. You need to be in that little red section, huh? Uh, no. No? No. Oh. In the black section? Like, the darker section? You don't want to be around those, or else you're just going to, like, Die immediately. Or just start... So you want to stay in that white area then, but you want to stay up towards the end of it. Yep. Hmm. Black area isn't right. Gray area is a better one. But, um... Alright, that kind of makes sense, yeah. You know, if you're too much into gray, you're going way too fast. As soon as you hit some, you might die. But if you go too slow, you're going to fail. Makes sense. So, like, what do you mean by strength? How do you measure your strength? Well, I don't mean I strength. Like, it's still about the speed that really matters. Mm-hmm. But, like, the faster you go and the less times you get hit... Or, the more times you get hit, you're going to lose some of your speed. Yeah. So, by getting hit by cops and the ground, you're going to lose some of your speed. Okay. But if you go faster by getting cruisers or going up higher, it's going to, you're going to boost your speed up. And Uh-oh. when you get to the doors, it's going to be, you're going to need like a lot of, like you want to collect more speed. This yeah. is what I'm trying to say here. So essentially you want to hit the gummy bears. If not, you want to stay in the air as much as possible. Yes. Okay. I'll say, if you could get a cruiser towards the end, it looks like you might actually win. I did that one time. Did you win or no? Oh, wait, you haven't yeah. beat the game. Never mind. Well, I broke through the door. Oh. So there's more levels besides this one? Mm-hmm. There's also survival. Uh. Which, oddly enough, back when I first started playing this game, I got the chili bomb and was like... And I now to this day, reminding me of myself, I told myself... Wait, I never messed around with survival. Oh, you're gonna and die. And I got the chili bomb. So I just question myself that a lot. I was like, you have a lot of money. Why don't you just upgrade a bunch of things? Like, 
what do you think would be the never mind because i just saw the I'm cost trying to get more cruisers why don't you buy one you had money you could afford I need to it save up that was a good launch yeah can you keep it up though i no i really can't so let's talk about anime karina i watched hey bot today i really enjoyed it I, I haven't heard of the show. I recently just... It's just okay. about robots and so, screws. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, speaking of anime, I recently finished Skullman. And that was a pretty good show, like, towards the end. Like, it starts off pretty slow, but, like, towards the end, when you, like... Like, let's see, there's 13 episodes. I want to say about, like, episode 7 or 8 is when it gets really good. But, um... Yeah, man, that was a good ending. That I actually could accept that ending. Um, just started Attack on Titans last night. You came over and you gave me some squid. <laughs> yeah, I caught some feels in that first episode when Aaron's mom died. That's not a spoiler alert, honestly. Cause it's literally like, in the first episode. Yeah. But, um. And we also got spoiled for Ruby. How do we get spoiled by Ruby? Penny dies in Pyrrha. Oh, yeah, uh, that's pretty old, so I, I'm gonna talk about it anyways. Yeah, uh, if you're watching Ruby, I guess come back in, like, a minute. Let's see, I'm gonna start talking about it in literally right now. now. So come back at 2 minutes and 30, 22 minutes and 30 seconds. So, um, yeah, fuck, in Ruby, or, I have this picture on Facebook that I saved a long time ago, where it shows Pura, and it's, like, Pura's in tears, and she's just crying, like, she can't believe what she did, and I never really noticed that at Pyrrha's knees, because she's kneeling on the ground, is Penny torn apart, and I never realized that until I discovered, or until I got spoiled, that Penny got, um, killed by Pyrrha, and I never understood it, like, as soon as I heard that, um, Pyrrha killed Penny, I looked at the picture, and I'm like, God damn it, that's Penny. He lost Penny. his robot waifu. Yeah, I'm like, God damn it, that's Penny at the feet of Pyrrha dead. And I'm like, I've had this picture for months, and I never looked at it till now. Plus, we saw um, Velvet's awesome box move. Yes. That, I gotta say, that was like the best thing in the whole, se the best thing in all of Ruby, honestly. And then when you pointed out, wait, she just pulled the camera out of her <coughs> box, and I said, maybe, and then like, I didn't really bother at that point, so when we actually get to see what her weapon does, um, I told him, I told you, wait, she takes pictures of the weapons. Yep, and that's how she gets them. And I was just like, wow, that's, that's, wow. It's pretty worth it, actually. So, I'm, I'm gonna show you pictures, and if you laugh really loud, I'll put these in the video, too. So... Jesus Christ. Overwatch in a nutshell? That's cool, send it. Uh, let's see what else we got. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's going in the video. Oh my god. That's going in the video, and I don't have anything else, unfortunately. I've shown you everything, so... I guess one picture is gonna be shown in uh, this video. Alright, let's see. You keep talking as I do this. Well, I have nothing to talk about. Oh, well, sorry. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's to be the only picture we show in the video, then. Um, what do you think of that Dark Magician girl, though? <laughs> 10 out of 10, I tell ya. 10. There's a snake in my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> that's not going in the video, hopefully not. Hey, this is actually be a really good test of a uh, Sony uh, Vegas, actually, because I'm gonna see how well can a picture show up in Sony Vegas. So, like, I was asking her in the beginning, why do you go to Adult Swim games? Like, isn't there other sites where you could play this on? I don't bother to. You just know that this is a site you could play it on, and you just stick to it. Yeah. Okay. Like, if I go to other websites, I just have to start over. I think Adult Swim Games had a Rick and Morty game. I know they have Pocket Mortys, which I never really played, actually. 
Oh, can you hit the bomb? Dang it! Ha! Ha! So you want to call us your final run? I guess so. Alright. Because you're almost done anyways. We're already at 25 minutes. This is a good enough video. I know I'm going to have to scroll through the whole video and look for, uh... I have to look for where I'm going to put that picture in. But what if I made it through the door? I guess we'd continue on. Are you going to make it through the door? Dang it! <laughs> I was having such high hopes, but I lost all my hopes and dreams. Why did you delete that video? Real quick, just don't press anything else. So, oh, a few months ago, she has her own YouTube channel. She doesn't post anything real on it, honestly. She doesn't, you hardly even post. But, um, she basically found this video online, and it was Spongebob, but it was, like, the video where it's, like, here lies Squidward's hopes, hopes and, and dreams. dreams. And actually played hopes and dreams from Undertale. Yeah, with, the, like, the super bass on. So many people were getting so butthurt about it. Yeah, a lot of people got mad at it, and then I commented a video, or I commented on the video, and someone got mad at me, and then she jumped in to defend me messing <laughs> around. But, um... Within a month, she had like 3,000 views, and she deleted the video, I guess, because people got so mad at it. I'm like, why'd you delete it? Ignore them. You should have just kept it. What annoyed me was that she didn't even make this video, and she got so many views off it, and yet, <laughs> here I am, working to be a YouTuber, and she just completely <laughs> shit on my channel with one video. <laughs> but we're already at the end. Uh, do you have any closing remarks you want to say? Uh, don't end up like me, kids. Despite her being 11. So guys, until next time, stay tuned. Tomorrow I have Demons Cross. And we're going to see when we make more family bonding. Because we kind of have fun doing these videos. So until next time, have an awesome day. Thank you for watching. Bye. And have a good day.